Yo, Club Matthew 7, what up? LV in here, man. I have the distinct honor of having the homie Red Cafe in the building. Um, as you see, Brooklyn's own. You know what I'm saying? Fly together, stay together. Ryan Leslie, Rick Ross, the scene was, was doing things. But there you go right there. You talk to him. That man speak truth. Believe that. Flint, what's happening? Black Cafe, shake down. <laughs> we waiting on that album, too. I'm waiting on it. I got a guest appearance on this video. Oh, yeah. Not on the album yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. That album on the way, boy. Yeah, man. So you in Michigan. I hear you got a show tonight, man. Yeah. Get down in the D? D, yeah. Okay, you yeah, ever been, been to the D right. before? Yeah, yeah, I've been there. I don't know why I'm asking. I got, I got a couple of things over there. Are you? All right, all right. <laughs> Good talent. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking musically or them soft legs? <laughs> Very <old>. talented, man. <laughs> I mean, we make music at the end of the day anyway. All right. All right. <laughs> It's always music. Right, right, right. Man. So so how you feeling about that record, you know, fly together? Man? Yeah, I mean I feel great. I feel great. You know, we, we went in there, we worked hard at, at making it. And um you know, people to take it to it. Yeah, I'll take it to it. Yeah, I mean like the I ain't saying that you here. Right. They know. Like I'll be new mug. Like yeah. I'm Brian Lexi. <laughs> Yeah, you know, got, that, got that good vibe, you know, and it's, it's a lot different from what's out there, so. Yeah, yeah. Did, you Did he produce that? Yeah, he produced it. With what? <laughs> a red cup, red cup full of change. <laughs> so, like, we got, we got the, we got the, the um, making of, of the record online as well. Okay. Yeah, probably something you put on your site. Almost good. Going to DVD, like, it's tough. Okay. Dude is real talented, you know what I mean? I'm, I was just honored to work with him. Yeah, man, he's like a prodigy or something like that. Even though he was, he, he, came, well, he was in the womb with drums. Right, right. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Hitting no organs or what have you. Right. Yeah. I, I posted the uh, the trailer that y'all did for the video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. we posted the video. Um, the the trailer drop. or the, or the, um, or the making of? Uh, the trailer. The, the trailer, trailer for the uh, music video. Then we, I posted the video. Yeah, so okay. So yeah, you got to see the making of, yeah. Look like, man, dope. that chick y'all had, man. Yeah, she's kind of special, man. Special? <laughs> I, I, he's humble. He's humble. She's kind of special. <laughs> man, oh, yeah. yeah like You'll be seeing a lot more of her also. Okay. <laughs> I mean, she's under new management. <laughs> she on the red cafe manager. Shake down. <laughs> right. Shake down. Shake them. Shake them. Shake them. You know what I'm saying? Shake them down, red. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. That's, I, I really enjoy that record though. Yeah, for real. That's, no, that's what it's like. What, the second yeah. or third time teaming up with Ross, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ross, me and Ross get, get, get down a lot. Hey, you just had his crib, man. How big is the crib? Look crazy. I believe it. He a big dude. Yeah, man. man. You know, my boss can't be in no room yeah. like this. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> boss is crib. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Am I here? You know, I. Me and Ross cool. Shout out Ross, yeah, yeah. Bayback Music Group, yeah, uh, Ambition, all that. But hey, we talking about Red Cafe. Uh, we talking about yeah. Shake Down. Shake Down. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about nothing else. Hell's Kitchen on the way. Okay, that's Shake Down too. album on the way. So yeah. uh, when we gonna see the, uh, the Shake Down? February. Okay. February. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna warm it up right now? Day release. Yeah. Exactly. I already knew. I already knew, exactly. knew. I already knew <laughs> that. Valentine's you know. Day, baby. Man. Yes, I was telling you all about. We got the homie Red Cafe. What up, man? Shake down. Shake down, man. I'm waiting on that album, man. Yeah, that album on the way. It's that on the album way. on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been I've been cooking that album for a minute now, so believe it's gonna be worth the wait. Yeah, I mean it's been a minute. Yeah. Folks been waiting on that album. Uh, let's get into it. Before we get into Shake Down, let's get into Red Cafe first and foremost. All right. From Brooklyn, New York. That's right. You've been doing this music thing for a long time. For, for a little minute. For a little ghost writing <laughs> for folks. We ain't right. gonna say no names. Right. You know what I'm saying? Keep your promo going well. All right. <laughs> you've been you've been on a lot of different labels. So now you finally kinda of like settle in, mm -hmm. bad boy, convict, in the scope. How has that helped you out now with going with Shakedown? Uh I learned a lot through my through my journey. Mm -hmm. And um I I just stepped up to the plate to really just be able to take the wheel and have as much control as possible. So, you know, I learned just so much from going through record companies and, and it just made me, put me in a place to where I don't depend on them for, for much. You know? Right. I mean, and I think that's important because, you know, me as, as, as I look at myself as an independent artist and now with just the support of a major company. It's like, you know, Bad Boy and Interscope, they, they they are a great support system for me, and that's what they wanted to be. They wanted me to continue to do what I was doing on my own, and then j they just play that supporting role.
because you know it's just a different world. It's a different day and age right now in the in the hip hop world. Right, so right. So you right. kind of got to know what you want to do, have your own direction, and then you know just have that support team with those big machines. Yeah, those are big machines, yeah. but they pushing you. You're not pushing right. them. You know right. what I'm saying? I think that's a major difference. Right. It's actually a good look for you. Right. Like I said, I was looking at your, your career. Mm -hmm. You've been really just bouncing around. You know, some people look at that and frown on it, but like right. you just said, you spoke to just the wisdom that you have right. and, and also taking your time. This is your first solo album, Shakedown. Yeah, yeah. First, solo, first solo album. album yeah. You put out a lot of great mixtapes. I believe one of them was more of an album. Right, yeah. More Above so the than clouds, like, Yeah, like yeah. More of an album. So, and this new mixtape I got coming, Hell's Kitchen, is more of an album as well. It's you know, and I just think that you got to prove yourself to the people. That's where the mixtapes and the pre-albums like this Hell's Kitchen, that's where it comes in. You you know, you just proving yourself to the people to make them know that, you know, your brand is something that they can trust, and you know, you you're worth the money. When it's time for them to spend money, you worth it. Well, you definitely did that with this record, uh, Fly Together, right? right. We're right. going to play that in just a second. We're going to play it next. We're going to play it in just a second before you All get right. about it here. Right. But you show, like, Ryan Leslie, <laughs> yeah. producer, and then also jumped on the record. You got right. the boss, yeah. Ricky Rose, yeah. you know what I'm saying? One of your homies, yeah. you jumped on there. So how was that coming together with the Fly Together record? Well, me and Ryan went in the studio, and, you know, we immediately had a vibe. Like, I used Ryan before on the remix for I'm Ill. Right. And um, he did a great job, and I'm just a fan of his work. So you know, when I finally got a chance to really get in and lock in with him, you know, we got in there, and we, we, you know, we caught a vibe, and like that was the first record we did. Like that was the only record we recorded together, and you know, so that just says a lot about you know our work in chemistry, and um, I'm sure we're gonna do a lot more. But you know, this is this is a great record. I think it's timeless, and uh, the 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 ladies love it. I made it for the ladies. I wanted them to know that I recognize that, you know, there's women out there that's independent, they're holding their own, they might be single parents, and I just know that they could fly as high as the homies could fly, you know what I'm saying? So so I went out there and I made this record for them, because my records is really, I, be, I get to the gooning, right, you know right. what I mean? So I just wanted to do something a little different and just acknowledge the lady. Oh, that's what's up. More with Red Cafe coming up. Uh, back with Red Cafe in the building. Believe that. Man, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, man, if y'all not really, you know what I'm saying, if you sleeping under a rock, which... You shouldn't be. You already know about Red Cafe. You know about the hits. You know about this man from, from Brooklyn. You know about the song Fly Together. We're going to get into that in just a second. But let's li dig a little bit deeper right, with go. Red Cafe for a quick moment. So off the air, I'm telling you that I'm like Shakobi, Shaq and Kobe. Together, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> On this hoop court. You hoop, man? Oh, yeah. I get down. Why not? I mean, Why do not? you get down, though? Look, I'll tell you, I ain't really about too much talking, dog. <laughs> I really just lace up. And we can get to the business, you know what I mean? We had the cameras on deck, it is what it is. Man, you know it hit the internet too, man. We yeah. might get some crazy I mean, Like, what if I dump? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. That was just the thing that I had. <laughs> uh, that's what happened, but you know, we got Red Cafe back in the building from Brooklyn. So I see from all the photos on the internet, the videos, the music videos, you have this stupid collection of hats. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah. they say people in the industry wear a lot of hats since they got like a, you know what I'm saying, a, a swole head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't get new eras. They call me 50, okay? Right. So, how was your hat collection, man? Oh, yeah, my, my hat collection, crazy, crazy. I just picked up a gang of more hats, and we ain't even got no more room on, on the way here. Where we stopped at? New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans. Orleans. New Orleans. What? New Orleans, I got, yeah, they had the crazy hat selection. I just grabbed some new ones. But yeah, I, you know, I get down with the hats. I usually wear the, the Los Angeles Kings. You know, of course, I love the color, but, you know, hockey teams, they just be getting it on. You know, sometimes I like to watch a good brawl. What? Yeah. You know. Hold on, time out. You, talk, you talking hockey? You, are, you watch hockey, bro. Yeah, I watch hockey, but, uh, you know, we talking about on that court, though. On that court. I'm going I'm I'm to get to work. You're going to get to work? We're going to, I promise. I'm about to get somebody to fill in for me. We're going to go up to the Y, show Red Cafe how Flint do it. You hey, know what I'm saying? Post game is sick. Learn me oh, some, okay. Jack. Learn me <laughs> some. <laughs> and real quick, man, and we also know in, in your video, especially with this fly together, you got this nice little lady, right? And I know the ladies listening right now. What is Red Cafe looking for in the woman? I got to ask that for the ladies. I mean, I love an independent woman that, that's, that's secure. You know, she focused. She got goals. Okay. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it. I like, you know, I just like them to be secure. They're secure, then that's sexy. Wow. I need my woman to be sexy. 
I need to be able to be turned on. You know, and it doesn't have to be like all 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 the time be features. Right, it could right. Just be confidence. It could be you know that's that's important. So, so ladies, she said, just be you. Yeah. You know, yeah. you ain't gotta always put Mac makeup on at one in the morning <laughs> from Red Cafe. Uh, exactly. Okay, get your stiletto game together though. Don't be walking around. Yeah, I like I like a good shoe though for sure. I knew you was a sneaker guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're gonna talk about that Probably coming up. Shoot. Hey, introduce your record right here, uh, the the single with Ryan Leslie Ross. Okay, okay, Flint, let's get focused. This is my number one single. You know, you understand? I just said number one. This is my number one single. <laughs> you know, I'm just setting the tone. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fly together, featuring the homie Ricky Rose and Ryan Leslie. It's 93.7, let's go. Like, 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 he, he laughing at his own shit. In his own zone. Wow. Dog. And then it comes out like this. Then it comes, yeah. Then it sounds like this. I was like, laugh some more. <laughs> we drop a red, now. Keep laughing. Let me get that two for one. Right there, fly together with the homie Rouse. Yeah. And the homie Ryan Leslie got uh, Red, uh, Red Cafe to build it. And I just want to call you Red because I know that was a nickname that you had growing yeah. up. Yeah, that was, you know that was the name I grew up with. My dad's name was Red. Okay, so you was Red Jr. Yeah, I, I was a little Red. You can't call me that, though. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, we have like 10 people. I have myself. So if anything happens to me, uh, yeah, that's what had happened. Oh, call Red Flint was happening. Was happening. Was happening. <laughs> hey, I want, I want everybody in Flint to tag me up on that Twitter at Red Cafe. Okay. And log on to my website, redcafe.tv, just to stay in tune with what I got going on. Yeah. That Fly Together is on iTunes right now. You can go on and get it. Definitely. And I'm sure you got the link up on the site, right? Yeah, we're going to have all that up there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So they can just go straight from your site. On, thank you, Cheese. We're going to go work on that. Go to yeah. my computer desk. We're going to have that up before exactly, you leave. Exactly, because I would prefer them to come to the 937 site. Okay. To go and get it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we're going to have the footage of this going up there, too, man. There we you definitely go. appreciate that, that you came. Man, you came all the way to Flint. Yeah, all right, this you know ain't, what I mean? This ain't L.A. This ain't Atlanta. Yeah, you know Flint. what I'm saying? This ain't I want Dallas. Flint to be my second home, though. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to I wanna keep coming through the Flint. You know hey, what if I mean? you come here, I'm going to tell you, it's a, it's a couple things you have to do. And if you do these things, we'll make you an honorary Flintstone. Oh, okay. okay. I'm with Flintstone. it. Honorary I'm with Flintstone. You got to first, it. you got to go to Big John's. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got to go get you a steak and onion. Okay, Big John's. And then John's. you got to go get you a coney. Hey, yo, chef, you're taking those Big John's. Big, Big John's. John's. And got to get you a you coney and a steak and onions. And last but not least, you got to maybe do a Halo burger because my man Ian right there, he's going to be out there broadcasting live. So you got to hit up there. Those are some Flint staples. Right. You're not going to get that in New York. Right, right. Y'all got right, some right. stuff we ain't got, but y'all ain't got that. Y'all ain't got Big John. Not at all. <laughs> not, not, not at all, man. Once again, the homie Red Cafe in the building. Yeah, Shake that. Down. Album dropping when? Yeah, the album is on the way. You get that album February 14th. So it will be a gift from him to her. Okay. Or it will be a gift from her to him. Or either way. Right. Or you could just pick it up or you could just buy it for yourself. Right. You got to get one for the wheel, of course. You for gotta, the house. You got to get one for the crib. Right. You know, and you got to get one uh, for, for the plastic because it's right. a classic. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get one for the plastic because it's a classic. I ain't going to read that. I'm about to keep that one for me. You know what I'm saying? My mixtape. You know that. what I'm saying? All talk, everything. Because all I'm doing is talking. So appreciate you coming through, man. Real quick, yeah. we got a new record for you. Oh, that yeah. You want to go ahead and drop to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to A. Flint. Let's stay focused. Like I said, we stay focused. We family now. I'm going to go to Big John's right now. Right. Big <laughs> John's. Halo right. Burger. Yeah, yeah. We you know what I'm saying? We're going to go on do that. You know, I just need to experience the city. Most Why not? Staff. And we're going to get to this new off of the album called Let It Go, featuring the big homie Diddy, produced by Jalil Beats. And you're getting the exclusive right here on 93.7. Let's get it. Let's go.